What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another iOS 13 tweak review. We're taking a look at Assistability 13. This is also available for iOS 12 if you guys are on that and that's called Assistability 12. But pretty much what this tweak does is it tweaks out the reachability on your device. So if I go ahead and enable reachability, as you can see, this is what assistability is and it actually makes the reachability blank area super functional. You can kill all your apps from multitasking. You can have favorite apps selected. You have a shortcut to control center, a shortcut to Siri. You can clear the UI cache of your device. And then you also have some really useful power options here like uh, LD restart, also respring safe mode, reboot, shutdown, and there's one more option. It kind of goes away a little too fast here. And then the springboard reload there. So if we go into settings and we go into assistability, here's all of the settings. You can have it pushed from the bottom. If you change that to off, that's how reachability normally is from the top, which is pretty cool. Go ahead and get that to go away. The next section is your favorite applications. Um, you can pretty much choose any application on your device to be in there, which is pretty nice. And then you have your button options here. There are four button options that are within the uh, the menu here that you can customize to be whatever you want. So I have Control Center, Siri, UI Cache, and then Kill Applications, which will basically kill all my multitasking apps. But you can uh, choose any of these different buttons to be uh, in any place you want. It's fully customizable. You got Apple Pay, App Switcher, Control Center, Dark Mode, Home, Kill Apps, Lock Device, Notifications, Siri and the UI cache, and you can customize those any way you want. You have the ability to hide your grabber. You can enable on iPad, uh, which would be really cool on iPad in my opinion. You can change the window height, so if it's too big, you can make it a little smaller, or if you want it bigger, vice versa. And then you can set the timeout time for when it goes away on its own. I actually bumped that up a bit to about 10 seconds, so you can adjust the time in which it shows before it automatically goes away. So fully customizable and super functional on iOS 13. Again, it's called Assistability. I'll leave all the package info down in the description. Also, if you guys wanna get my wallpapers, I do post all of them on Telegram. I'll leave the link for my Telegram in the description. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.